Now we can draw our shear diagram using these equations that we have identified and we have computed for the numerical value for the moment force for segment AB and segment BC as well as the maximum moment which is located at segment BC. So to start, we're going to have here at zero at point A. So of course, we're going to start at zero. Then we have moment AB, so towards this point, so this is our segment AB, so we're going to have here that one, so this is 208, so we have here 208. Then maximum moment is at 217, so on this point, so that is the maximum moment. Of course, this is now in curvature, since we have here, uh, uh, we have now a uniform loading, so this will be, uh, for concentrated load, the moment diagram is triangular. For this one, there's now a curve, so you have here a curve, which is 217.8, that is at the maximum moment, which is 217.8. Now, at segment BC, so towards the end point, when x is equal to 10, so we have computed that one, so the result is 0. So you're going to have, you're going to drop this to 0. So we have now our moment diagram. Okay, to continue, we have another problem. So we have a uniformly varying, a uniformly varying loop. So triangular loading. Uh, on top of the beam <laughs> so for this one we're going to cut this so if we're going to section this one so basically this is unknown in this portion so basically you have this the cut section so this is a cantilever beam so you're going to have here this will be y And this is actually your x. The distance from the left portion towards the cut section is your x. So we have to identify the value for y. So if you're going to identify the value for y, by ratio and proportion, so this one over this, this triangle over this uh, original triangle, so this would be y all over x is equal to so this one, basically, this was based on the given W sub O. So this will be uh, W sub O all over the total length is L. So therefore, our Y here is W sub O X all over L. So we have now our Y. Then if you're going to have your uh, the force here, since if we're going to have the shear uh, equation, for the shear equation, so basically our shear equation for this is equal to, so you have V, which is, we only want, you only have one segment for this given problem. So V is equal to this, so you have here now the cut section, so Y, then you have here X. So this is, you have the force, what is uh, the force of this. So let's call this as force F. So this force F actually is equal to uh, 1 half X times Y. So the area of a triangle, 1 half X times Y. And our Y, we have to resolve this in terms of X so that you only have one unknown variable. So we have to substitute here. Uh, in terms of x and l so so we have to substitute our uh, value for y we have computed that a while ago so one half x times w sub o x all over l so simplifying further this is equivalent to w sub o x squared all over 2l so this is our f so basically our shear equation summation of force vertical so we only have one load this triangular loading so this is downward so equal to f and this is actually equal to negative w sub o this is downward 
x squared all over 2L. So we have now our uh, shear equation. Now for our moment equation, for the moment equation, we simply have to uh, identify now. So moment here is equal actually to uh, this one F, force F times in triangular loading, the force, for uniform loading, the force is acting at the centroid half midway of the uniform loading. However, for triangular loading, the centroid of this is acting at one-third from this portion. So, this will be equivalent to, this will operate in a negative clockwise direction, so negative.